I was really into this um, uh, logical positivist school that if it's necessarily true, it's just a tautology. And if it has something to do with the real world, it's gotta be falsifiable. Otherwise it has nothing to do with the real world. And I couldn't get it through my thick head. It took me a year or two maybe to really get the idea that there are statements that are necessarily true and unfalsifiable. I've given you one that uh, a voluntary trade is mutually beneficial. I can give you another. Um, rent control um, uh, lowers uh, the quality and the quantity of housing compared to what it otherwise would have been. Necessarily true. Now, I did my PhD dissertation on rent control and uh, my independent variable was how much rent control did a city have by observations with cities. And I had maybe, I don't know, 50, 75, 100 cities. And in 1946, all cities had rent control. Well, 45, and then they, some of them started decontrolling in 46, and then 47, and 52, 58, 65, New York City never did. So when I did my dissertation in 19, oh, I guess it would have been 1990 or so, uh, I had many, many cities with number of years of rent control. And I held constant everything else I could think of that would have anything to do with the quantity or quality of housing like uh, wealth or uh, crime or uh, weather or who knows, whatever. Um, and usually my dissertation uh, came up with the right, um, uh, right, uh, what do you call it, uh, signs, namely uh, uh, the more rent control, the worse housing. But every once in a while, you know what would happen? And I get statistical significance, but every once in a while I got the wrong sign. And, uh, and sometimes it was statistically significant. My dissertation advisor was a guy named Gary Becker, very famous economist who uh, later won the Nobel Prize in economics. And he was too nice to uh, say what he really felt. What he really felt was block, go out and do it again until you get it right, you moron. He, he did say go out and do it again until you get it right. He never said you moron, he was too nice. But uh, that's the way I felt. So what was testing what? Was my stupid dissertation testing the apodictically necessary claim that if you uh, put barriers in the way of landlords, you're gonna get less housing and lower quality housing? Or was it the other way around? Namely, uh, the, the uh, insight that we know from supply and demand analysis that rent control uh, slows down the housing investment. Well, obviously it was the other way around. So I adopted this policy that if you scratch a good economist, and Gary Becker was not a good economist, he was an excellent economist. If you scratch a good economist, uh, they'll convert to Austrianism. So I try to convert him to Austrianism. Well, I didn't convert Ayn Rand to anarchism, and I never converted Gary Becker to Austrianism. I tried. Uh, but when he said, um, go out until you get it right, he knew what was right. Uh, I didn't have to test that, namely, the, What's the word? Uh, the, the dog. Uh, uh, the dog wags the tail. The tail doesn't wag the dog. Austrian economics wags the economics, not the other way around. Um, uh, minimum wage uh, law, rent control, free trade, all these things are apodictic, necessarily truths that good economists will will agree on necessarily true. And and th this whole thing about testing is just a lot of malarkey but they don't admit it. Like right now, they just gave the Nobel Prize to uh, Card and two other guys. Card and Kruger did the study on uh, minimum wage and they, uh, New Jersey raised their minimum wage, Pennsylvania didn't, and then they um, studied and they didn't find any more unemployment in New Jersey than in, and, uh, than in Pennsylvania. So they said, well, minimum wage doesn't create unemployment. Nonsense on a stick. Um, it necessarily uh, creates unemployment if you hold everything else constant. Now, you never hold everything else constant. So what's testing what? Look, uh, if um, my productivity is um, $10 an hour and the minimum wage law is 15 and you hire me, you're gonna lose $5 an hour. And if you do that with all your employees, you're gonna go broke. So, um, and if the minimum wage is so great, why don't they raise it to you know 10,000 an hour? We'll all be rich. We can stop giving money to poor countries and foreign aid. We can say, hey, poor country, raise your minimum wage. You'll all be rich. 
this is imbecilic. You know, we have recalls for um, uh, the cars and tires. We ought to have recalls for Card and Kruger and these guys that won the Nobel Prize in economics and take their PhDs away and uh, re-educate them, put them in re-education economic camp, uh, namely Austrian type uh, camp. Uh, th these are necessary truths. And these people are testing what the minimum wage uh, creates unemployment for unskilled workers. Uh, it, it's just um, preposterous.